Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to more Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Uh, last time we beat the Fortress of World 5, and my plan was to go back to World 5-3, because we haven't beaten that yet, but I still can't get back there, because these stupid vines are in the way, so... Once again, we're gonna have to wait on that, so let's go ahead and move on to level 5-4, which is actually my least favorite level in this world. I hate this level. This level just plain sucks. Especially to get all the star coins, because this one is not easy to do that on. This was actually the level I was thinking of that I thought was level 5-3, but 5-3 uh, is actually a different level, so I was wrong about that. But let's get started. Okay, here's the gimmick for this level. We have this giant wooden plank, and whenever an enemy steps on it, the counter on the plank will actually increase. And when the counter gets to five, the platform will stop moving. So you can only have five enemies on a platform at once. So to get rid of them, you just have to, you know, kill them and throw them off, just like you normally would. So yeah, this level, very annoying. Especially the star coins, as I've already mentioned. The star coins definitely are a pain to get here. And more than just one of them. There's a few star coins that are actually really annoying. We also have these stupid micro goombas, which, even though they weigh barely anything, they still count as an enemy, so they can really increase the uh, <clears throat> weight of the platform without them without you even realizing it at times, so... Yeah, best to take care of them as soon as possible. The good thing about them, though, is... Um, dang it. Uh, the good thing about them, though, is they can't actually hurt you. So in that retrospect, they're not that dangerous, but still, they're very annoying. And yeah, they're just very annoying. Dang it! Okay, good. Okay, wow. I got very lucky because I did not know the star coin was right there. But yeah, you kind of have to guess where the star coin is if you want to get it, and that's really annoying by itself. And then the final star coin is, isn't exactly that generous either. Plus you have stupid piranha plants falling everywhere. I think you can only kill them with a bomb. So I will do that right now. And I think you need a bomb to actually get through this part. If you don't die. I could still do this, though. Dang it! Okay, how do I get this? Do I have to be small, Mario? Oh, no, I have to throw a bomb under it. Or something. Oh, wait, no, 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 I know what I have to do. I have to grab a bomb and blow this from up here and then get the coin that way. Okay, I'm kind of... I'm really stupid. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't do that. And it's kind of impossible for me to actually get this now, so... Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to come back to this level, but... That's actually a very easy star coin. I thought it was a lot harder than it actually is. That was just my fault for being an idiot and forgetting what I had to do right there. So yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and redo this level now, just to get it out of the way. Or actually, I'll make sure... I'll see if uh, level 5-3 three, three opens up first. Because I really need to take care of that before I do anything. Okay, yeah, I'm going to see if I can do that. Can I do it, please? Yes, I can. Okay. So I'll do 5-3 first, then I'll get the star coin in 5-4, and then we'll be on our merry way. Okay, yeah, this level's a lot easier than I thought it was. Uh, this is what I thought the level I just did was, but it's actually not. This level's a lot more... Eh, I was getting ready to say generous, but I guess generous isn't exactly the right word. Uh, the gimmick of this level is you have these spiders. You can actually be safe from the spiders if you're under them. And you can also jump on them, too. They're not too threatening, though. 
Okay, let's see if I can get a propeller mushroom. It's after the normal mushroom. Okay, there we go. Good, because I wanted the propeller mushroom. Even though I'm probably going to lose it once I go back to 5-4. Because that level is a war zone. As it is. But yeah, the propeller can make this level pretty easy. Can avoid most of the obstacles. And jump on the spider's head without going under them. Okay, I do not want to grab that. I have a feeling I'm going to want to get in this pipe, though. Or I could just use the propeller mushroom. That works, too. <clears throat> oh, dang it! Okay, good, we still got it. Uh, I want to give a quick thank you to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I want to give a big thank you to Mega Freak 400 who actually told me something about this game that I actually surprisingly didn't know, but I'm act I feel kind of stupid for not knowing this anyways, but um, whenever you get one of those little red coin rings, uh, what you get from that actually depends on what power-up you have, or what power-up you don't have. If you're a small Mario, just get a normal mushroom. If you're just normal Mario, you get, like, a power-up that kind of varies from, like, the fire flower, ice flower, and the, uh, propeller mushroom and penguin suit. You'll basically get a random item. And if you have one of those, you'll actually get a one-up mushroom, so... As you can see, I have a propeller suit, so I got a one-up mushroom. So yeah, thank you for telling me that. I'm actually surprised I didn't figure that out myself, but... That just tells you how well I pay attention to these things. And hooray for another one-up we don't even need. And last video when I mentioned that, you know, if you wanted to make a counter for how many one-ups I get that I don't need, um, there were a lot of people who actually jumped on that, so I guess the only thing I'll say about that is good luck for all of you who want to actually keep track of that. It is very easy to get one-ups in this game, almost to the point where you actually forget if you got one or not. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do this level now. Um... Or, well, I've already done this level, but I'll go back and get the star coin. I'll see you guys at the end of the level. And then we'll continue on after that. Okay, so that's how you get the star coin. It's actually pretty easy. And for those of you wondering, I did not get any 1-ups during that, so... For those of you doing that 1-up counter thing, don't worry about it. I didn't get any. Well, except that one right there. So you count that one, but there weren't any others besides that. <clears throat> and I didn't die either, for those of you who might be doing a death count. But whatever, whatever. Formalities. We need to... Let's just play a one-up game instead. I'm still getting a lot of comments from people talking about the power-up houses saying... There's a pattern for every game, and I know that now. I don't care. I'm not going for the pattern. <clears throat> okay, wow, that was actually pretty good. Five up. All right, so add a five to the counter. <coughs> and I'm no longer going to say to add stuff to the counter because that's a cheap way of you guys getting the information, so I'm not going to worry about that anymore. Um, for this cannon, I don't remember which level it is. It's probably the ghost house, because it's almost always the ghost house. Ghost house always seems to have a secret exit of some sort. But I'll do this level first anyways, because I can't even get to the ghost house. 
I don't remember what this level is. Th oh, this one. Great. Not this one. Why this one? This one doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I mean, come on. Giant flying manta rays? <laughs> okay, never mind, I died. I'll leave that one in just because that was a very stupid death. And, uh, yeah, I won't use any power ups. I don't need them. I'll save them for, like, you know, world. The, the final world. <clears throat> I didn't spoil anything yet. Okay, let's actually make this jump that time. That was a very easy jump to make. I don't know how I missed it so easily. But whatever. I mean, we all have moments like that in Mario games where we just feel like we just suck for no reason. Me especially. So yeah, if you couldn't expect, the star coins in this level are actually very annoying to get. If you couldn't tell by the mechanic of this stage, by itself. Yes, we essentially have to ride these mana rays throughout the entire level. It's a good thing we have a propeller block, because this would be very annoying if we didn't. <clears throat> okay, is there anything down there? I'm tempted to check, although I'm not sure. Eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, there is a pal block. Oh, well, okay, there's something right here. Okay, come on. Wait, is there something right here? I don't think that was a star coin. I'm gonna hope that it wasn't. But we never know. You never know. And yeah, I'll go ahead and grab a nice flower. And I almost lost that, and I think I did lose that now. Yeah, whatever, I don't need it. Yeah, I don't need it. Okay, there's a second star coin right there. Now the third one, the third one's very annoying to get because I believe it's down there. Oh, there it is. Dang it. Oh, looks like I'm doing this level again. I thought it was right there because there was that little coin arrow, but then I forgot that there was like a double coin arrow that had the actual star coin. Okay, so yeah, I'll have to do that level again, unfortunately. And this is how you get the uh, flagpole in this level. Just grab the propeller block. And that will take us to this area over here. And that actually takes us to the castle. Okay, well, we got there a lot faster than I thought we would. But anyway, I can't go to the ghost house, so I have to, uh, yeah, do this level again. So I will be right back so I can get that star coin. And then we'll do the ghost house, and then things will be happy again. Okay, see you there. Okay, here I am. I'm not going to be an idiot this time. Because the star coin is right here. Aha, I've got it. And there we go, level completed. And I think I've decided that, um... For those of you doing the unnecessary 1-up counter, that if I get a 1-up off camera, I'm not going to count that because that's kind of unfair for you guys, so yeah, I'm not going to worry about that, so you guys shouldn't worry about that either, so just thought it'd be kind of nice to you guys. Well, I still can't get to the ghost house, which kind of sucks. Um, 
Can I go anywhere else at least? I guess I can do one of these little skirmishes. I don't know if that will get rid of some of the vines, but, you know, might as well try, I guess. And isn't, the, isn't this the exact same thing we already did? Like, didn't we already do this variation? I really don't remember. Let me just grab you and then get some more super mushrooms. Because that's what the world needs now. It needs more super mushrooms. <clears throat> okay, that didn't do anything with the vines, so... Okay, wow, I'm actually... I'm actually stuck going to the castle next. Which kind of sucks, but, I mean... I guess there's nothing wrong with... Nothing wrong with that. I guess I'll go ahead and show this off, too. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do the castle then, and then come back afterwards to get the ghost house. That's kind of stupid, though, how the vines are preventing me from 100%ing the world my first time through. At least I got some super mushrooms out of it. <clears throat> Okay, so let us go to the castle now. <clears throat> okay, this is the lava castle. And the spinning gate castle as well. Anything up here? Oh, there's not. Not there could have been. There's always a secret like that somewhere. Actually, it's up here, isn't it? Okay, now where is that secret? I know there's a secret like that somewhere. I just don't remember the exact location. It might be up here. In a little bit. Oh, wait, no. Okay, there's a star point here first. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I could have actually avoided that if I wasn't stupid. But no, I'm stupid, apparently. There is a secret up here, which is another star coin. How do we get that? Does the gate go high enough, or...? It probably does. Okay, yeah, it does. I didn't remember, though. My memory is a little fuzzy when it comes to this game. Not too much, though. I know this game pretty well. Not expertly well, but well enough to do a Let's Play of it, at least. <clears throat> I actually still need to watch a Let's Play of this game cooperatively. Like, I mean, just to watch one, I mean, I bet they would be pretty hilarious. Although, I guess it kind of depends on the commentator. Okay, that was kind of close. But yeah, if um, anybody wants to recommend any good cooperative Let's Plays of this game, I guess I'd be open to that. I assume they'd be mildly funny with some extreme thrills here and there. Because the multiplayer in this game is, like, really chaotic. It really is. Like, I don't know if I'd even be able to take it through an entire Let's Play. I've played this game a few times with, like, friends and stuff like that, but... Like, to do an actual Let's Play, I'd be, like, very angry because I'd be wanting to finish the game. Then I bet all my friends would be like, you know, trying to throw me in the lava or something. But, that's the way this game works. <laughs> that's how the multiplayer usually works anyways. Okay, here we have these bouncing blocks. These kind of replace the music note blocks from the old Mario games. Which kind of sucks, because I love the music note blocks, but, I mean, they perform the same function. So I guess it's not a big deal. 
Okay, so here's perhaps the most strange Kamek alteration. This is the weirdest Koopaling battle in the entire game, I have to say. Because it just doesn't make very much sense. And it's also really easy, too. Because you can get a lot of early hits in very easily. But yeah, that's basically all you do. Just watch out for the flames while you're doing it. But otherwise, yeah, it's really, really easy. Okay, and there's your proof right there, because I'm tired of getting this message, but a lot of you guys seem to be thinking that this game is uh, New Super Mario Bros. the DS version. Because people keep telling me to ground pound the boss enemies, because it'll do two-thirds the damage. However, as you can see, I started with a ground pound, then did a normal jump. And then, like, I mean, it didn't die. He didn't die. That doesn't work in this game. That only works in the DS version. It doesn't work in this game. I think. I might have done it wrong. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. But either way, that was Iggy Koopa. Iggy Koopa is a joke in that boss battle, so we finished it with no problem. And once again, Bowser Jr. gets away. This time, it doesn't leave without him, though. And then we're off to World 6.